Welcome back to Roosters Radio. And we've got a real treat for you, Roosters fans. This young man, well, they call him the king of King Cumber. Uh, he had an absolute blinder there <laughs> on Friday night against the Bunnies. And he's going to tell us all about it. Unfortunately, he did succumb to an injury late in the game. We'll get an update on that. But it's a warm Roosters welcome to the one only Sandra Smith. Sandra, welcome back. Thank you, mate. Thanks for having me. Firstly, congratulations on the effort on Friday night. Thank you. A lot of, uh, I dare say, a lot of noise last week, you know, leading into the big game. Obviously, Jared's 300th, yep. the rivalry. Just talk us through the preparation. Is it is it different for you? Um, not too different. It was um, actually quite a short week, which um, probably probably made that better because we only had a, what, a five-day turnaround, so from Sunday to Friday. So we didn't have a lot of time to actually to think about it and sit down. And we were sort of straight out of that game, a little bit of review, and we were straight on to South and... Obviously, the week for Jared was good. We we, we made made him feel special and um, had a few meetings for him there. And yeah, I'm not sure he loved it too much, but um, no, nah, it was awesome to get the win for him. Well, tell us, tell us what what was the the lead up like, particularly with Jared being the theme? Because I mean, as Roosters fans, we were pumped, yep. right? I, like I'll tell you for nothing that I th- I knew we were going to win. I told anyone who want to listen, yeah. we're going to win 13 plus because he's going to do it for Jared. Yeah. I know Robbo makes a bit of. Uh, you know, noise around that. So just talk us through what was some of the things that you did for him. Yeah, um, we just, Jared, you know, like like you said, all the boys just, just want to win for Jared. He's been a legend of the game and this club for so long and, and getting up that, those 300 games the way he has, um, you just, you just no one wanted to let him down, you know. Um, and we, we spoke about that uh, throughout the week that it's the big man's special day and, you know, he, he would he would work for us and he wouldn't let us, let us down at all ever and he probably... In his career, he, he wouldn't have let down many people. Um, so we all got as a group together in there and really, really wanted to make it make it special for him. Uh, not only a big week for Jared, but also for you, Sandon, um, knowing that Kiri was out and uh, going into the halves there, f- kicking off on Friday night. How'd you how'd you feel about it leading up to the game? And how'd you yeah how'd you take it? Yeah, I was definitely oh geez sorry <laughs> yeah yeah I was I was definitely excited. Um, like I said, it was a short week, so I didn't have a lot of time to to think about it and um, sort of go over, get too nervous and stuff. But I was um, definitely excited. You know, I, I played, done the whole preseason in the halves there and um, then obviously been in the hooker, hooker role for a bit. But it's been a while since I've actually played yeah. a game in my natural sort of halves position. Um, so, no, it was awesome to get out there. I was definitely excited. And Friday night against South, it uh, does get too much better. So in the halves, you're a natural position. Um, you're a King Gumber Colt, you yep. know. But yep. I'm from the Central Coast as well, so you know. You're about this all the time. Yeah. We're neighbours. <laughs> we're neighbours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so what is your natural six or seven? What'd you play as a junior? Uh, a bit of both, actually. Probably most more recently, probably the, probably the seven. Mm-hmm. Um, but definitely six. Um, definitely a position of the player. I always played there in juniors. Done a bit of fullback and stuff. So I have that um that that in my bag there. But Robbo made it pretty simple for me. My simple game. There. He said, you know, Sam's gonna handle a lot of the, the kicking and the, the direction and stuff and he just wanted me to go out and play my natural game so that was good which changed yeah i was just about <laughs> to say so like sat, look one through 17 were on fire yes. on friday night but sammy walker was really having a blind yeah up. yeah he goes off yeah then you had to step up yeah I, what, I, what was the talk um <laughs> not, not not a lot again they sort of sort of all happened so quickly and initially i thought he wasn't going to go off i sort of i look remember watching the the big screen and thought, like his oh, neck, right? yeah he and he sort of got up yeah, he, he was wasn't, trying to allude to that as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> he wasn't like you know some of the ones that they really like oh geez he's just out um so i thought oh he we might have 10 minutes and he'll come back on and he just never come back on so um yeah just try to take control of the boys there and and, and finish that game off there and but like you said it was it was one of those nights that a lot of things were going right for us and everyone was on the same page and it was um it was a good night one thing that didn't go right is connor watson's oh. hey oh. Yeah. still on the pitch in that <laughs> ball oh, off, yeah. what was going on there <laughs> oh we'll have, we'll have to ask him about that one I, I thought, That's a central coast square up if ever i've seen <laughs> oh that. big time i've got to tell you a story about it so my um daughter's son played at King Cumber Colts with yep. um, with Sandon and I spoke to him and he goes, oh, I had Sandon as like any try scorer. <laughs> anytime, and I'm like, yeah, yeah any time. And I'm, I had Connor. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it was a so rival. I said, oh, I got you there. But um, yeah, you're like a thief you in the night, out. wasn't he? Yeah, <laughs> mate. I, I remember thinking the ball, I, I, I don't know if you know, I haven't scored a try <laughs> in the NRL yet. And he's bloody got a probably 50, but, and I thought I had it and, well, your eyes lit up. Oh, mate, I oh, know. <laughs> well, it was yours. It someone, was yours. He just came from the blind he came, side. Um, but initially I thought, oh, shit, there was a, a South guy. And then yeah. I sort of looked down and 
I was pumped for him. You know, I, yeah. I, I don't mind. I'll get one eventually. So, but no, it was good to see him in his game back there after a, what year and a half, and um, yeah, get that try. Just standing in front of you, you know, we, we were in this room last yeah. year when you yeah. made your debut. Yeah, you look like you've put on a fair bit of size. It's, you've, it's been a big preseason. Oh, th- <laughs> thanks. Um, I actually haven't put on. I definitely feel stronger. I haven't put on a lot of weight or you anything look, but you look yeah s- stronger yeah well i just sort of growing up i guess that that sort of man <laughs> that, that man strength um but yeah always trying to try and put weight on you know us small guys um exactly what, with, with these injuries here to sort of prevent that stuff you need to bulk up and in the game today everyone's bloody big and stronger so we're going to try keep up well tell, tell us about the injury obviously we saw you yeah just playing before, with your yeah. elbow uh in, in the second half wasn't just it? before yeah, half time just, yeah, was uh, it? Mm. yeah a couple minutes before half yeah. time um just went into a tackle and suali um come in and tried to smack the bloke and sort of my my elbow got caught in between his shoulder and um one of the south boys and yeah just sort of hyper extended it there and um ended up yeah tearing a couple of ligaments so mm. I think I'll be in a brace for three or four weeks now, and so hopefully that heals up well, and I'll be back in. But you played the whole soon. second half. Yeah, I was going to say, how, how was it during the game? Mm. Obviously, there's the adrenaline, and you, you yeah, warmed yeah. up. Did, did um, you feel it during the during the as game? As soon as it happened, it was pretty sore. I went in at half time. Um, said, oh, you know, my elbow's pretty sore, and they said, oh, they just strapped it up and gave me a couple of painkillers and stuff. Um, and the, the strapping, it, it, it was too restrictive, so I said, scrap that, took that off, and yeah, it, it wasn't too sore. That's what it took me off guard. Um, when they the docs told me, yeah, you, you're going to be in a brace for for three or four weeks because it was sore, but it wasn't like, yeah, and like mate, this, I'm going to be out. You know, I thought maybe one week if that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just one of those sore ones. It's happened. It happens all the time. You know, um, but yeah, so it's a bit, bit unfortunate, but it's the game we play. So. You'll be back, mate. Yeah, you'll be back. Sandy, you're a young bloke who's from the Central Coast. Who's I think you're the first to come through the academy. Is that right? You're the the first kind so, of yeah, junior. Yeah. I, I did notice on the weekend um, the Central Under Coast 16, Roosters yeah. uh, won the, the Andrew Johns Andrew Cup. Johns, yep. Yeah, I've seen that. Talk yeah. it, what's year what's the pathway like for the young kids on the coast? Yeah, it's definitely improved over the last probably, yeah, as soon as, the, the, when I was coming through about 13 or well, 14, 15, um, that's when it, they started the, the affiliation with the Sydney Roosters and big credit to uh, John Strange in there. He's um, been a massive part of that. And um, ever since then, it's sort of started, it's just taken off. And it seems to be every year it starts getting better and better. And like you said, they're starting to win more games and, and, and win these comps. So, no, nah, it's really it's been really good to see. And uh, we were just having a chat um, before the show and you mentioned you're living at Vaucluse now with an, another yep. young boy. From yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> stepped it King up. Oh. Hang on, King Hang Cumber's on. okay. Yeah. Yeah. King Cumber's up there with Vaucluse. Top, <laughs> top of the market, <laughs> Vaucluse. Trying, trying, trying. Wow. Listen, we've got an oval in King Cumber yeah. and everything. It's great. Yeah. Um, no, but uh, you're living with another kid from the coast? So yeah, yeah, Phoenix, yeah. Phoenix Steinway. And he's currently... Um, he's been with the Roosters for a few years as well. We come up through the, the grades and the Central Coast there and... He's um he got twenties captain the twenty side last year and been he's just had a, he's actually got an injury at the moment too he's he's dealing with a ham, hamstring there so he'll um be back playing reserve grade in a, in a few weeks and awesome. so I know obviously you're unavailable this week uh you know a big big game against yeah. Penrith we we haven't beaten them I think in about the last mm. eight matches mm. you, you've been in and around the club what's the what's the feeling what's Robbo talking about you know in the lead up to this really important match. Um, no, nah, I think the boys are excited, you know, coming off a win like that. I said, the, the boys said, um, we don't want to sort of take it lightly now. You know, we want to really build off that and, and go after the, you know, like they've been the benchmark side um, for mm-hmm. a few years. So um, we got a good opportunity to really build off last week and, and, um, and really, yeah, get after them on Thursday night. Well, mate. We know you got to go and do a bit of rehab. I know you got yep. your show for Luke Keary waiting for you outside <laughs> as well to drive you back to Vaucluse. Yep. Mate, best of luck. Speedy recovery with the uh, the injury. And hopefully we might see you up the Captain's Club on Thursday night. We yep. might get to interview you again. Yep, thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Good on you, mate. Thanks, Thank you. Sam. Look Thank forward you. to seeing you back on the field soon. Easy. Thanks, mate. Thanks. thanks. Mate.